Mr. Wright, good to see you again, sir. How are you? Good to see you. How are you doing? I'm doing so well. As you know, I love the movie because I've been sort of flooding your Instagram post with, uh, with all my love. But seriously, the movie's congr- fantastic. So I appreciate you fitting me into your schedule. Of course. Uh, I'm going to jump into this because I got a thousand questions for you. You know, I love the mystery behind this film. And I thought I had it figured out and basically ended up feeling like an idiot because I did not have it figured out. As a storyteller, I'm curious as to where you begin when it comes to, to a mystery. Do you start with the question and then try to answer it? Or do you start with the answer and reverse engineer to try to figure out what the mystery is? Um, I guess I I always knew what the ending was. And and I think there's elements of that, I can't really go into it too much, where sort of even things that just come from kind of, you know, real life, like where sort of stories that you've heard or even just aspects of that. So it was something where I guess the, 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 the ending of the movie, it wasn't something that, you know, kind of, you know, your play, you know, comes at randomly. It's actually you sort of know what the ending is. I think that sort of any good script is if you know where you're heading with it, it's going to be easier to write and better overall. So I, we, I always knew what the ending was, yeah. I'm excited to rewatch it knowing what I know now to see what clues you left in there for us. Um, you know, there were so many moments in this film that where, where this thing happened for me. Uh, but one in particular I have to point out where, where uh, Anya Taylor-Joy is dancing with Matt Smith. You swing the camera around without cutting, and then all of a sudden he's dancing with Thomas and McKenzie. And I just thought, how the hell did he do that? And I was wondering, do you remember as a movie fan the first time you ever saw a shot and thought, wait, how the hell did they do that? That's a good question. I mean, weirdly, with this specifically in this film, there's... Um... You know, I think sort of where I, I, when I was a young film fan, I used to watch films and try and pick things apart in terms of, um, you know, clever sort of gags like that. I I tell you, uh, I mean, um, you know, in terms of mirror shots, there would be lots of like shots like that where you would start to kind of like look at something and then figure out how it was done. Like, um, strangely, there's a shot that's in the deleted scenes of Terminator 2, which is not in the actual film, where there's an amazing... Is that where, um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt, Linda Hamilton's twin? Exactly. I know. And bizarrely enough, I spoke to James Cameron earlier this year because I did an interview with him for Empire. And I said, I was talking about this movie. I said, hey, you know what? We watched that shot from Terminator 2 that's not, not even in the film. But it's, I would show it to some of the crew and I'd say, tell me what's happening in this shot. And they would look at me like, what do you mean? And I'd say, oh, look, it's like Linda Hamilton, Linda Hamilton's twin, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Arnold Schwarzenegger puppet. Edward Furlong, Edward Furlong double. So those things were kind of like, I mean, I guess like things like that, uh, there's a good one in in um, Evil Dead where there's the mirror gag where there's a Bruce Campbell is on one side and a double on the other side and then he reaches out and grabs him. And so obviously when you watch that as a 14 year old, you think, oh, that's a good gag. And they think, wait, how did they do it? Ah, oh, there's two of them. It's a double, you know? So I, all of those things are like Texas switches. I'm excited. What's interesting is in the last year, I've seen that on the internet, people have become obsessed with Texas switches in film. And what I'm particularly proud of is in this film, the shot you just mentioned, I think has five of them in a row. The dance sequence that you're talking about, yeah. like it's basically an uninterrupted shot. There's one part of it where Anya turns to Thomason right at the start where we, we didn't do, it's, it's a steady cam shot, it's not, not motion control, it's just a steady cam shot. There's one part of it at the start where we just did a separate pass with our amazing camera operator, Chris Baines, who we called the human moco, where he just re- replicated the movement. But it stands and, fall, stands and falls on everybody's continuity, like Matt Smith, Anya Thomason. Then the rest of the shot, which keeps going, is all like Texas switches in camera, where basically Matt is, Matt is in the middle, Anya's on one side, switches with Thomason, Thomason comes back. So if you watch the kind of the, an aerial view of the shot, you'd see like this little dance between four people, Matt, Anya, Thomason, and the camera operator. I, the, my inner film geek is just going nuts right now. This is this interview is very much my jam. Mr. Wright, it is always an honor to speak with you, sir. Thank you for always geeking out with me. And, and you and I have been talking for many years now. I appreciate you always being so kind. It's always good on a TV show to talk about the deleted scenes of Terminator 2. <laughs> you have no idea how much that's very much my audience, though. You knew what I was talking about, though, which is great. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, I, the show. I, I got you. Good to see you, sir. Oh,
Where we're going, we don't need roads.